Australian Invaders and welcome to Synth Spaces and for today's video I take a look at Super Mario Sunshine. Now this is actually the very first time that I have laid eyes on this game. Personally, I've seen it online, I've seen it on YouTube videos before, um, but the game has always eluded me and uh, that's because GameCube games here in Australia are very hard to get a hold of. It just seems to be one of those things that don't turn up in second-hand stores. Uh, you don't see it being sold off in um, EB Games because they've just long forgotten about the GameCube. So it's just never been on my radar and I've just never been able to find it. That was until though I visited Super Potato Store in Osaka. And while I was there, after having picked up my GameCube from Mandarake store, which is uh, in another town, uh, another part, sorry, of Osaka, um, I went nuts just picking up as many GameCube games as I could get my hands on. And one of those was Super Mario Sunshine. Um, without messing around much further, let's take a look at the game. So I have not played this myself. This is a game I've always been kind of curious about. <laughs> oh, warning, there is voice acting in this. Ugh. That's a little bit suspect. <laughs> that shadow. How ridiculously cute did I make Princess Peach? <laughs> Get it shaped like a dolphin. Oh. Super Mario Sunshine. How cool is it seeing it in Japanese text like this? All right, now a couple of things before I start. I'm in for a rough time here because everything is in Japanese. So let's see how we go Okey with dokey. this. This is going to be rough. The voice acting is in English though. That's a rough landing. It looks like a giant what? I didn't quite catch what he said there. No no boys, don't touch that stuff. So bad. I am most concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> I don't know what the text says. I'm guessing it's saying, hey, I guess it's great that we've crash landed here. Go get some help. Go find someone helpful. Press A to continue with the conversation. I'm thinking, okay. Uh, so I can use the yellow camera stick to move around. That's kind of cool. And we've got a really excited toad there, but well, 
Can't understand. I'm just going to be skipping through to text, uh, I think, from this point on. So, that there is obviously dangerous. And you lose life if you hang around that crap too much. Stop, stop, stop. And now he's all yucky. Look at that. He's all got... So if I go in the water, will that come off him? How weird does it look? And oh look at that! As he as he swims, the muck comes off him. It's not as fluid to control as the new Mario Brothers, but you know what? I don't mind. I'll adapt. Uh, what have we got here? Oh. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from GAD Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario. As a fat Louis. Oh, I like the little reference to Nintendo 64 down the bottom left. That's cool. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding they... with user instruction. Why do they always make the supporting characters really annoying? Like Fee in Zelda Legend of Skyward Sword, I mean. Alright, so this is the big difference is in this game you've got this this doobie whacker device. How good does the water look? Now I'm guessing that is asking me, did you understand all this? And I'm going with a standard response, yes. Cool, that worked. Money up. Alright, R. Uh, I hard and hard and oh okay so we've got some graffiti here that we've got to get rid of another one here cool what's this guy's problem yeah tough time at the office Why is it wanted poster for Mario? Kinda looks like me. I think that's kind of the point. If we jump in. Alright, and we can reload our water that way. Okay, now I got it. The basics out of the way. Let's play the game. Come on, shall we? We got that uh, problem back there at the plane to take care of. Let's sort it out. This is really satisfying taking the. Oh, the yellow stuff is actually the paint. Okay. I don't know, I find this therapeutic. Ugh. I'm watching my water. You get quite a generous uh, load of water that you can use. Oh, he's got all goo and rubbish all over. Oh, we got one of those star thingies. Okay. Cool. 
thanks, man. I was really needing that. I was in a bit of a sticky situation. Okay, no worries. All right, jump, jump. There we go. I like that. <laughs> well done, Mario. What an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am flood. Glad to meet you. Oh, it's the fuzz. You fools, didn't you just see I took out that enemy? Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Delfino Isle using some paint like substance. The voice acting is terrible. With polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? The way how is bad is this voice acting? Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shrine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because of all of our guardians, the shrine sprites have vanished from their gathering spot at the shrine. Why am I getting a lecture from Costanza's father? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. This is so bad. I order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And Homer Simpson? We'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Oh man, the voice acting is just absolutely abysmal. So yeah, it looks all dark and gloomy. This Yeah, what a shot. <laughs> Come get me, copper. Right, let's just walk around. There's no point in talking to anyone. I can't understand them anyway. Oh, hi. You look familiar. Oh. Someone spilt an Easter egg all over the place. That looks pretty horrible, actually. Huh? Alright, let's uh, take this problem on. We got our water thingy going. It's such a shame I can't, <coughs> excuse me. Such a shame I can't understand what those updates are. Take that. This, um, uh, what are these little shop of horrors? Oh, I gotta wait for his mouth to open, okay. And you're dead. Weird on my TV. Princess, look! On the statue's head! The 
Voice acting! Stop it! <laughs> that looks cool. Mario? Evil Mario. <laughs> Why is she always getting kidnapped? Has she got kidnap me written all over her face? Mario. There's no run button, you're just running at the speed. I don't know what it is I'm supposed to be doing. No, come on. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm sh Oh, I'm in the water, no! I should have grabbed the refill while I was in there. Gotcha, you rascal. Hey! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just disappeared on me, didn't he? I think I better go back and check on Princess Peach then. supposed to get him. Oh, there he is. Huh? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And... Oh, funky. Cool. I like it. Bianca Hills. This is our very first stage. This is World 1.1. Iconic much? Not really, but let's just check it out anyway. Let's grab all the coins we can get. Ah, oh, that was a fail. Why can't I land on that rope? That's it. Oh, nice. Any advantage of being up here? Let me check out. Oh, yeah. Very hard to get on those ropes. You've got to be very precise. You can do it. I don't know what it is you can do, but you can do it. I climb this thing? Nah, okay. The music's very Zelda ish. Oh, what's that? Nice. Coin get. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess that's save and continue. Oh. Uh, thank you. Come again. Okay, so the blue coins are important, I guess. Not really sure why, but we'll find out later, I guess. And we've got a mark down there and another mark there. What can it mean? Let's get through this way. 
I'm sure there's hidden stuff I can look for, but right now I'm just focusing on getting through the game. Can I climb that? So getting that blue coin is uh, going to be a trick. And it's not going to allow me to get it because... Yeah, that sucks. Uh, what about this? Yay, blue coin get. Thank you. <laughs> Just got Roger. Alright, let's take care of your shenanigans once and for all. You, sir, are coming with me. I'm running out of water here. Hey! Oh, jeez, I better get my life sorted out. The game, that is, not in real life. Relax. Alright, that doesn't get- oh, there's life over there, I can get the coins. <gasps> there's a coin! Can I get that coin? I can get that coin, I can't see any reason why I can't get that coin. I can see blue coin get, coming up. <gasps> Did I just select, can not can save? Oh, better save soon then. So those chocolate meatballs, whatever they are, oh, they're making a mess of the place as well. This game's actually really cool. The way, the dynamics are just, uh, everything is fluid. Alright, one, get out of here, get out of here. Alright, sweet! We've took care of that guy. Oh, okay, so killing bosses also activates new hidden areas or something along those lines. Hey, you don't you dare take me. Shiny get. Wait, no, come back here. That's the one. Oh yeah, I'm liking this, I'm digging this. And we shall continue. Actually, I will save it there. That's going to be the end of my first part of a Let's Play on this. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I have got also some other GameCube uh, Let's Plays coming up. Um, I've got a stack of oh, GameCube games that I've got to get through. Um, I don't know why. I've just all of a sudden got this GameCube fetish. And I'll tell you why. If you have a look, look we'll grab that camera. Have a look at these. I've got two GameCube sitting side by side. That's my Japanese one there with the uh, GBA player at the bottom. And that is my regular PAL Australian version. I just happen to have been unfortunate enough to get two silver ones. I would have liked to have got another color. Hey, but when it's a brand new GameCube, you do not get fussy. You just basically accept what you're given. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I I'm really am stoked to have got this brand new GameCube. In the meantime, my name's been Brian and I've been gaming since Spacey's. Thanks guys.